punishing. That's just punishing. I mean, just a, just cruel. That is mean and unusual punishment. I mean, it really is. So if you look at it before and after, right? And, and you know what? That's not impacting uh, sales either. So the uh, other thing is from a window standpoint, this house, if you looked at the uh, side and rear elevations, it had 14 different window stews. 14. This, uh, this elevation has four, three of which, so you, you can see these same, and you have uh, one there, and there's uh, another one that's uh, different as well. Not only did we do it in that house, we looked at it across the series, right? So again, those materials readily available in the channel, how can we orient those in a way that still gives us that curved view? This is actually a, a floor plan. You get a lot of different things uh, in this. So, you know, eliminating uh, angles in the kitchen. Uh, in this instance, we took the cabinet out over the refrigerator, standardized the island across the series. So now that that island, that entire plan series, that same those same cabinets and countertop is used in each one of those homes. Square out corners where we didn't need a raise by entry. Here's another interesting thing. So if you look at the series, here we actually standardize the main body throughout the series. So the actual footprint of the house, if you will, shared plumbing wall. So we're those were just the ideas that I pulled that were relevant to the uh, audience. Here's just a, a nice shot of uh, some of the windows. You can see the window example. So I don't have, I didn't actually do the before shot, but you can see just, we still have a, I think, a home <coughs> that will attract buyers. It's definitely at a price point now that it actually sells. And in, in that series, we're looking at windows, doors, cabinets, molding, plate heights, floor joists, trusses, etc. So how can we do standard components? If you think about it, how many different combinations of secondary baths do you need? About at one point, we got over 2,000. So that's all I have. I'll turn it over to uh, Mark. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to take a little different approach than Tony did. Um, actually, how many of you like the slides that Tony put up? <laughs> you did? Good, they were mine. I just let him put his name on. So, um, anyway, uh, Tony and I actually get a chance to talk once in a while. Uh, we work for competitive companies, or competing companies, but uh, we share a lot of the same thoughts and a lot of the same challenges. Um, every builder, every home builder, and I'm sure, um, John. John's going to tell you the same things. You know, uh, this is a simple business that many times is complicated. And many times the home builders make a complicated business, just by what you saw or what Tony was showing you. Um, I've been in the industry for 30 years, and I will tell you, in this downturn here, I think some things are happening and have happened that we are going to see that are unprecedented for our industry. Um, we've got government intervention going on today. Uh, you all heard about green in the uh, previous presentation. Our belief is, is what's going to happen from an energy perspective, okay, which is not green. Okay, there's a difference between what the Department of Energy is trying to do and green building. And we think there's a, a terrible misconception for our industry. We think that what's going to happen from the perspective of uh, the involvement of the government, it's going to change the way houses are built. It's going to change it very quickly. And so what Tony was talking about, some of the challenges that he was talking about, the value engineering that his company's trying to do, I believe that the challenges in design, the future designs, are going to become uh, much more challenging for all of us in the home building industry. What's that mean for you uh, as suppliers or you know, distributor partners or manufacturers? Um, I asked the question back uh, previously about the green building. I asked the question about testing of products and who's going to do the testing of products. One of the reasons that I ask that question is, uh, many times you guys do the testing of your products, but you don't test it in a system. You don't test it. The house is a system. You know, whole house design means it operates as a system. 
And so that's another challenge for us. Now we're going to have this green movement or this energy movement that's going to force upon us and bring new products to the marketplace. And the question that we have as a home builder is, are they going to work in these new systems? Um, so what we're trying to do is take it a, a different approach as we look at designs moving forward. We know we're going to have to build houses that are going to be more affordable. We just know it. the loss of wealth in this country has been staggering for all of us. Um, how do we do that better? Well, what we'd like to do is work with our supplier partners, our trade partners, our manufacturing partners to value engineer and design. Okay, we're doing that project right now uh, in Florida, believe it or not, a new community that we're hoping to open up in the spring in Florida. And you're saying, wow, opening up a new product in uh, Florida, you know, with the difficult times that they're having in Florida. But we believe we can do, uh, we'll be successful. Uh, we are doing collaborative design. We are designing these homes with the trust manufacturers, the HVAC uh, contractors, uh, mechanical contractors, consulting partners. Everyone is part of the process so that we're looking at the house as a system and saying, okay, how can we build this most efficiently, okay, so that it is a cost-effective product for the consumer, but it's going to be a high-performance home at the end. We're not putting the label of green on it. We believe, our main companies believe, that we want to be able to produce a better-performing home in the future. Um, what are we doing? You know, we want to involve you. What I believe is a challenge for this industry and has been an old paradigm for a long time is suppliers, manufacturers, um, distributor partners, you folks are the experts in the business. However, you've been hesitant to share your knowledge with the home builder. You need to be proactive in the process. The biggest mistake I think we make in this industry is we're a reactive industry. We react when Tony's building those houses that he showed and we get a house that, that comes out from a distributor and it's got 30 windows that are supposed to go in those houses and there's 27 different sizes to those windows. You should be telling us, don't design homes that have 30 different SKUs in them because we can't support that. Yet, we as the builders expect you to be able to support that. So your knowledge is invaluable to us. It's invaluable as builders. And our company is taking the approach that we want to involve companies in that early design, schematic design process. Uh, we've done that with a lot of our partners today. Uh, and, and we've seen tremendous benefits. The homes that we're designing in Florida have dramatically changed for the better. We're going to be able to build it more cost effectively. We've got a better floor plan. We've got better exterior applications. We're going to have a better mechanical system. We're just going to be able to produce a better home. The reason is, is not that we're that smart, but collaboratively, using all of the players smartly, we're going to be able to build a better home. So uh, the key takeaway for me today with this group is, be proactive with your builders. You know, offer your expertise. Don't be afraid to raise your hand and say, you know what, that's not the right way to do it. I have a better idea. But do it early on in the design process. Work with your partners more closely. You know, every time you have to come out and do a repeat trip for whatever, whether it's an incorrect material takeoff or whatever it may be, that costs you money, that costs us money, and we have to fix that problem. So proactive rather than reactive, and I think we'll be a better industry.